Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can install and also how we can remove software packages in uh, Kali Linux. Now, I'll be using the terminal to run the commands. And at the end of the video, I'll also show a GUI version, which is a packet manager, which we can also use for installing and also uninstalling or removing software packages. Now, let me open the terminal here. Now, before we can install any software, it's best practice is to run the command that would uh, update the um, local package database list. So we'll be using the app tool to run the commands that are associated with the managing packages. Now, to update the package list, I will run sudo apt update. So I'll put in the password. And that's done. And as you can see, it's giving me the number of packages that can be upgraded. Now, if you wanted to upgrade the packages, you can run the command sudo apt upgrade. And this will, uh, and this command will install packages to their latest version. And this could take a while, so I'm not going to run this right now. Let's move on to the the command for actually doing the install of uh, software or packages and that command is sudo app install and then here you put the name of your software or package that you want to install in our case let's install snap d which is also a tool for managing software packages uh, i'll press enter here and it's done now if you have a package software package you're looking to install that ends with .deb in some cases you might need to install software that has a file that ends with .deb in that case you'll need to use a slightly different command for instance if you're looking to install google chrome that's what you'll need to do so let me cd to my downloads folder to show you what i'm talking about I'll do ls here as you can see here, I have a file named Google Chrome stable current, and then it ends with .db. To install this kind of package, you need a different command, which is sudo dpkg-i, and then the name of the .db file. So in this case, Google Chrome stable current, and so on. And that's how you install a file that's ending with .db. Okay, so I already have this one installed. That was just a demonstration on how to install that kind of a file. The next thing we'll look at is how to handle dependencies. So by default, the app tool, so when you run the tool, we just, so when you run the command we just ran for installing package, this tool right here handles any issues to do with dependencies, but sometimes you might get an error where there's uh, like missing dependencies. What you can try to fix that issue is by running the command sudo apt hyphen hyphen fix broken install. And what this command does, it's, it's gonna try and see if we can fix any issues that are, have to do with the missing dependencies. The other command you can run that can install missing dependencies is the sudo apt install dash f okay the next command we'll look at is for removing software or for uninstalling software and that command is sudo apt remove then here you have to put the name of the package you're looking to uninstall or the name of the software package in this case we'll remove what we just installed uh, snapd press enter and press y now what this command does is it's just going to remove the package but it's not going to remove any configuration files associated with that package in order for us to remove any configuration files you will need a slightly different command and that command is sudo apt page and then and then the name of the package snapd and this one should remove any configuration files associated with that package. Uh, moving on, we will look at a command for cleaning any unused packages. 
So over time, unused packages can accumulate. To clean them up, we can use a command that automatically cleans any uh, installed dependencies that are not being used. And that command is sudo apt auto remove. And in this case, it didn't find any. The next command I'm gonna cover is for searching for packages or for listing any packages you have installed. And that command is apt search and then the package name. So let's do Google Chrome stable. And it found Google Chrome and it's showing us what version we have. The other command available for us to check what packages we have installed is a dpkg l and that should list all the packages you have installed. You can also use the grep tool. So if you're looking to check or search for a specific package, you can use grep here and say the say cron, and that we just display just that package. So another tool we have for finding more information about your packages or finding details on any packages you have installed is the apt app up cache and then show and the name of the package here and this will give you more details on the package you have installed the name the version architecture uh, dependencies and so on and if you just wanted to see the dependencies associated with that package you can do App cache depends stable and this just shows you the all the dependencies. So the other thing we'll look at here is how to manage the repositories. Now the repositories here are the archives where the programs or the applications available for install are stored. Now to check the Kali Linux repositories. We can look at the uh, sources.list file, which is located under, uh, you can say cut, it's under itc apt sources list. So this is the text file and it's, it's going to show you the repositories right here. If you wanted to add or remove repositories, you can edit this text file as long as you know what you're doing. Otherwise, you could mess up with your repositories and not be able to install software. So the last thing I wanted to cover here was this software GUI for packet management that we can use on Kali Linux and it's called Snaptic and this one is a tool that you need to install. To install it do sudo apt install Snaptic and in my case it's already installed. Once you have it installed you can go to your menu here and search for it. So this is the packet manager right here. Open it, uh, put in your password. And this is the GUI that you can use to install software. Now, let's look at an example here. If, so if you needed to install new software, you can click on this search icon. Then you can type in the software. Let's do group target. Now we'll click on search. There it is. Select it. Right click on it and select mark for installation. And then click mark here. Now it's marked for installation. Click on apply here. To be installed, you can expand this. It's going to show you what's going to be installed, all the dependencies, the application and the dependencies. Once you're satisfied with this, you can click apply here. And that should begin the installation process for us. And then it says successfully installed. You can close this. And now you have your software. Now let's say you wanted to remove that software. What you'll do is again, come here and search for that packet manager. And then you go in here you search, uh, target, and there it is. I right click on it, mark for removal. So you can see there's an X next to it. I 
I click apply, it shows you what's going to be removed. Uh, it shows you what's going to remain unchanged. All the other packages are not going to be affected. So I click apply and it's been removed. So there's other different options on this tool that you can explore, but just, that's just a brief overview of how you can use the GUI. So that's all for this video. That's how you can install and uninstall software on Kali Linux. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.